Hello, everyone. Welcome inside the Red Earth Production Studios for another edition of YBM Cast. And today we have our PBR Player Spotlight uh, with Kevin Mulder here. And we are talking about uh, a couple of four players that we're going to be featuring next week in our GAC Game of the Week. Uh, Kevin, how you doing, buddy? Doing great. Looking forward to this ball game. <laughs> yes, I think it's going to be a good one. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, the shortstop from Fort Zumwalt East, Luke Abishan. Let's talk a little bit about him. Yeah, Luke. Uh, Luke's a senior shortstop uh, and right-handed pitcher, and uh, you know it's one of the keys to their team. Uh, you know, not only starting at shortstop, but Luke's a dynamic arm on the mound. Um, had, leads their team in saves uh, with four and. Uh, has the ability to get a strikeout, uh, has a big fastball, um, you know, registers in the mid 80s, but plays up as a high spin guy and gets a lot of swings and misses. So, you know, look for them to go to him late if they're able to have a lead, uh, you know, in the sixth or seventh inning. I like what uh, I'm looking at the report here. I love the uh, loose, whippy arm action, high three quarter arm slot. And he's playing a really good shortstop position so far. I've seen East a little bit. I think that it's it's going to be a, a very good game that way. Uh, and he's also, he's committed to McKendree University, correct? Yeah, uh, good. Obviously, good D2 program uh, right on the other side of the river. There you go. And uh, next up on here, we have uh, four uh Fort Zomalt South on the other side is opposite shortstop Jack Dunn who's really uh been a catalyst for this team yeah Jack um is a mineral area uh commit or signee um and, and it's started to it's all come together for him this senior year hitting well over 500 uh and it's kind of been a linchpin in their offense and hitting with some extra with some thump with uh Five, you know, five doubles, triple home run, and um, it is kind of the key to the this uh, this South offense. And uh, you know, oftentimes it's led by seniors, and Jack is certainly doing it for uh, South this year. There you go. And it's always nice to talk about the seniors, but we've got uh, a couple of sophomores here uh, that really shined on the varsity side, and you don't see that a lot. Uh, as freshmen, and uh, for Fort Zumwalt East, that young man is uh, Jackson Carter. Jackson, yeah, he uh, you know hit hit over three fifty as a as a freshman, and is hitting over three sixty this year. Jackson is probably the fastest kid in the state uh, in terms of uh, on a baseball field. He's a legitimate six four runner, which is absolutely moving. He has a plus plus tool with the run game. Um, and he knows who he is. Uh, he's not trying to hit the ball out of the park and popping balls up in the air. He puts the ball in play and runs. He's also seven to seven on the bases, stealing bases. So dynamic athlete. And like I said, most likely the fastest player in the state, um, in baseball. There you go. And on the other side of that with Fort Zumwalt South, uh, Carter Cox, who, uh, is a, I believe he's a right-handed pitcher, correct? Left-handed sophomore. Oh, left um, we saw him pitch uh, as a freshman in the state tournament last year. Uh, Carter is, uh, you know, a, a frontline type left-handed pitcher. Is going to have a real opportunity to move on at a fairly high level. We've had him um, consistently in the mid to upper 80s, and like all young players, are going to keep getting better physically. Uh, so it won't surprise me at all to see him. Uh, the velocity climb even more, but even without that, you know, he's got 13 innings and 23 punch outs, which tells you he, he has plus stuff. There you go. Um, this is interesting because I love talking, especially about these sophomores, Kevin, because we're going to see them over the next, you know, including this year over the next couple of years and how they grow. And that's why I, I think it's very interesting to bring awareness to these young players like this that are dynamic and how they will impact their schools moving forward, correct? Yeah, you're gonna like Tuesday if you like young dynamic players, because we got a pair of them here. And, uh, you know, 
not only as sophomores, it's you see some sophomores play varsity. You don't see many freshmen play varsity, and these guys both played as freshmen, so they also have a year of experience under their belt, which is which is a rare thing for the sophomores. Absolutely, Kevin Mulder, PBR Missouri. If you if you again uh, if you like uh, following these guys and learning more about what the players and what's going on, he's uh, he's on Twitter and Instagram at PBR Missouri and at Mulder, correct? PBR Mulder. PBR Mulder. So PBR Missouri, PBR Mulder. Follow him. Check out the action. See what he's got going on. He's always talking about these young guys and uh, around the state um, looking at these players. So, Kevin, as always, thanks, man. Looking forward to it. All right. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Just a quick shot there. Everybody have a great day in the Lord. All you pitchers, keep throwing strikes. And you hitters, hit them where they ain't. We'll see you next time.